Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys. And wow, wow, woo, woo, woo. It's been just rock and roll for Bitcoin today. In my last video, I started a video and Bitcoin was down, down, and then midway through, it's up again. And wow, we're seeing a huge roller coaster ride for crypto today, a huge roller coaster ride for Bitty. And right now, at the time of recording, Itty Bitty Baby is at 21,656. Wow. And guys and gals, remember, none of this is financial advice. It's just a Ric Flair in the house, woo, pro providing education, entertainment, and all-time fun. Guys, so if you love this channel like I love you guys, go down there, boop the likes, subscribe, eat YB, and I'm calling y'all, I'm calling y'all. If you've been watching and you haven't been subscribing, you're getting the double X from the OG. This is Ric Flair of Crypto in the house. Ice, ice, baby. Let's get it, guys. And we got Mr. Brilliant, the green alien in the house. He's out of there. He's out of there. And we got Gino the Gino. Welcome to the channel. And we did have... Wow, those guys are always at it. They hate each other. So hopefully Annabelle doesn't uh, make another appearance and drive the cryptos down. Because, you know, in the last video, Annabelle started a video and by well, by the middle, it was like green. So Annabelle's not happy. Annabelle's not absolutely not happy. So we're going to talk about can we see Itty Bitty Baby get itself back up to $30,000 uh, by the end of this week? So we've got a, got a huge piece of news from uh, Watch Your Guru. So we're going to go through that. And it looks like, uh, you know, uh, Dogecoin is testing its resistance levels. And if we can break out of this resistance levels, and we're going to talk about those what those levels are, we could be seeing doge going over 11 cents soon guys so let's get it guys and let's absolutely get it so as a reminder out there we do have the uh we do have the core cpi inflation rate coming out uh on uh, thursday on uh, the 30th of june and uh, that's going to be a perfect setup for july coming in and hopefully july will be positive out there guys so from that perspective let's take a look a quick look at uh at uh, itty bitty baby also we got we got we i'm we're gonna also show the uh uh charles hawkins hoskinson from Cardano's uh, discussion with the uh, government with regarding to crypto regulation. So we're going to jump into that as well. So right now, at time of recording, booyah, we're seeing that itty bitty baby is just blasted past the $21,665 line. Yes, yes. But we need to, we need to, this to hold. But we're seeing right now, there's, we're seeing a bit of a doji candle right now, spinning top. So we don't know if that's going to be going up or going down, guys. So we just have to keep an eye on that. Oh, who knows? But I still think our, my inverse head and shoulders, right? been repeating time and time again it's still pretty valid guys so boo yeah boot the likes smash the likes subscribe and super chats would be much appreciated guys so let's take a listen to what uh charles hoskinson has to say let me get my volume up there so you know let's take a let's take a listen let's take a gander what he's got to say so this is what charles has to say let's get it 37 seconds <laughs> i'm sorry yeah <laughs> uh, no, the gentleman can take as much time as he requires oh Thank you, oh, Mr. There we go. We're getting more jump, time. Thank you. I mean, don't push it, but I'm... <laughs> yeah, don't push it. Let's go, Charles. Woo! It's a fine line here. You got to be careful. I'm Italian. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. So, you know, when you look at cryptocurrencies in general, they're talking about regulation, it, okay? Like financial stem cells, they're 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 kind of more fundamental than a particular category, like a currency or a commodity. And really, it depends on the markets they're traded on and the use and utility that they have. Uh, but at the, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what public policy considerations are you attempting to satisfy? Is it sanctions compliance? Is it consumer protection? Is it market stability? What we do as an industry is we're all about transparency. So it's kind of funny we're talking... In so he's really he's really asking the question. I think I think the government needs to really think about what he just said. What form of compliance are you looking at? Are you looking at consumer protection, financial uh, area protection, and other areas of that we're looking to protect uh, people from or industries from? And this is really key. So this is this is a good starting point. We're debating about disclosure regimes, there's no other financial asset in the world that really is as transparent as a cryptocurrency. Every transaction from the very beginning for Bitcoin, for example, from January 3rd, 2009, is known. Every single one, the whole because the blockchain is no, public. The blockchain is public, publicly available to everybody. So it's more about, in my view, understandability and the tooling required to make this work on the a global tools. basis. Uh, so I don't think it would be wise to say, well, is it a security or a commodity or? fall into this temptation of who's the more permissive regulator or what is the regulatory arbitrage, but rather just take a step back and say, what things do we want to guard against? And we now have 13 years of history as an industry of, I think, six or seven collapses, uh, a whole bunch of... So the question is, 
It's not about who's in charge. Is it Gary Gensler or is it the CFT, uh, CFTC? It's about what do we want to guard against, guys? So that is really key. And I don't think anybody in the government is thinking about this. So Charles, he's quite enlightening. Of interesting new things like NFTs uh, that have always pushed the limit and a global marketplace with more than 100 million people floating around that we can draw from and we can look on a case-by-case -case basis and build a, a framework that makes sense. All right, so exactly. We need to build a framework that makes sense and we need to we need to focus on what do they want to protect, who do they want to protect, and we shouldn't try to lump it into one kind of category, guys. And, you know, they also talk about, you know, security and uh, transparency, but blockchain and cryptocurrency is the most transparent uh, financial instrument on planet Earth because, as Charles said, you can go back to the beginning of Dogecoin, beginning of Bitcoin, and you can trace every single transaction. It's there for you to read. It's public, guys. So I think this is a pretty good segue into what we're going to talk about right now so you guys can see that now the bitcoin number of addresses holding more than one bitcoin is at an all-time high guys and this is just shows that there's more bitcoin conviction out there and people holding like madman and we and i did show you in my previous video go back and watch that that we're seeing right now that there is a ton of bitcoin flowing off exchanges and you know the exchange the exchange flows and the amount of exchange of bitcoin being held on exchanges that it's, it's at the lowest it's ever been since 2018 so that's should tell you absolutely something that you know the hodlers the hodlers are not exhausted the hodlers are not selling sure we had some weak nancy debbie downers that did sell when things tankity tank tank with the luna the tuna but do Kwan's going to be getting a six pack of a uh, rope on a soap from me personal gift uh but from that perspective and the celsius collapse i mean those knuckleheads are going bankrupt let's hope that that they do get bought out and that, that we can get our crypto freed get free our crypto free our crypto free our crypto guys so that would be really good so but we can see that the hodlers are not selling they are absolutely holding with diamond hands dollar cost averaging and uh, remember none of this is financial advice and we're seeing also this is coming in from rec capital right now and what he's saying here and he's saying that you know if you look at btc uh you know the buy side volume is still below the average significant and small when compared to the buy volume at previous bear market market bottoms market bottoms uh, formed on the 200 day uh, 200 week moving average. So we are seeing that you know Bitcoin is below the 200 week moving average. We talked about that too. Infinitum, boring story. But the key here is that there's the the uh, you know the we can see that the buy side uh, volume are still pretty low compared to these previous uh, peaks. So you know does that mean that we're going to have a little bit more crabby crabby walk uh, before we uh, start to see a huge pumpity pump pump i think what we may have a little more consolidation maybe about 30 or 30 to 40 days more consolidation kind of range bound between the 17 and 21 thousand dollar area and if you look at the uh, number of buys in the 17 to 21 thousand dollar area this is where most of the buying is happening for bitcoin right now uh, and that is huge guys so we may see some sideways consolidation for some time so i wouldn't panic about it we're definitely going to be going up we should be hitting all-time highs guys so this is from miles uh, j creative in the house and what he's saying looking closer at these accumulation paths i can see a strong argument that we are start we have started the bear market period in march 2021 so what he's saying is that the bar the bear market started in 2021 guys and from that perspective it looks like that theoretically a new bull market is around the corner guys so if that happens let me get my, uh, my face out so if that happens we're going to see macro macro plays a key role we shall see how the rest of 2022 shakes out so i believe that we're going to be seeing something uh, turning to the upside and i think that you know the bear market is over and uh, we could and but the bear market has been going since march 2021 so from my perspective do you think that bear market has been going since march 2021 and this is the time for reversal i think it's the time for reversal i think we're either at the bottom or getting darn tuned to it so that's from what's what i'm thinking from my perspective so you know why could bitcoin uh bitcoin may test three uh, thirty thousand in uh, by this week so i think this is possible we're seeing that the sentiment is increasing we're seeing that the total number of addresses have been going up pretty up up guys so the bitcoin uh, active addresses versus current price is at the highest ratio since december 2023 guys so that is that is a good uh perspective that i think the sentiment is starting to turn positive guys so we're seeing that the selling pressure is easing up a little bit so that is pretty good and you know i'm seeing that you know right now we're seeing that bitcoin is respecting this trend line and 
and I, I believe that we, you know, it's optimistic scenario. We could see a 28,700 moonshot shot shot, guys. So, you know, like they say in this article, now moonshot might be a term used out of context in this scenario, but a retest on the 23,030 resistance would be welcome. At the moment, BTC price is recovering on an incline resistance, a yellow line. I talked about that, but the scenario will, uh, the scenario will majorly, majorly, what is that a word? Majorly improve majorly i don't think that's a word right i gotta look that one up it majorly improve if the asset jumps above the aforementioned resistance so right now if itty bitty baby can get above the twenty three thousand and thirty dollar resistance level then we will have an absolute pumpage to thirty thousand guys so you know we really need uh it to get above the twenty three thousand and thirty level so we need to get about around about this level right right there let's paint that in and if we can get above that level that is going to paint uh that will send us up to thirty thousand, guys but i did tell you we had this inverse uh red and this inverse head and shoulders and like i said this inverse head and shoulders is going to be putting us pretty close to around about twenty seven thousand two hundred and ninety nine. so there's some there's some confluence there so that is looking pretty good from that perspective guys so that is cool beans we're also seeing that on the weekly right now we got uh, 10 hours and 57 minutes left i think this is going to be a weekly candle no problem we're above the minor capitulation line just gingerly but the miners did borrow four billion dollars uh against their uh, bitcoin assets to buy more mining equipment so i think they're not going to be capitulating anymore we did see uh you know a, a sell-off of all the bitcoin that they mined in may we're seeing uh, the sell-off for June is finished now. So we should see that the miners should, uh, uh, you know, stop selling and they should start uh, increasing the hash rate. So that's pretty good. DXY is going sideways, boring, boring. So right now, as I said, we got, uh, you know, a Dogecoin right now. Uh, for the price, let's take a look. The live price, the live price, the live, the live, the live price of Dogecoin down there is at seven uh, eighteen in the house. So we need uh, Dogecoin basically to get above uh, seven nine, and if that's the current resistance level, we got some good support around about uh, zero six eight, and if we can get above the zero seven nine area or eight cents, then that's going to send uh, that's going to send Dogecoin up to the next uh, Fibonacci level of zero two three, and that would be about nine cents. If we can get uh, past nine uh, nine and a half cents, that's going to take us up to eleven sense absolutely easy 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 peasy japanesey from that perspective so you know if you take a look at the uh, doge right now on the rsi the rsi is definitely oversold right now and we're seeing that the macd is flipping green so that is pretty bullish for the doge wozier in the house guys so i'm feeling pretty pumped i'm pretty uh, feeling pretty primed right now so right now if you take a look at shiba inu let me get my face out of the way my face let me get my face out of the way so right now it's seeing for shiba inu right now shiba inu is still going up it's still respecting my trend line and it's at 11.78 in previous videos 11.89 so you know as long as it respects this trend line we should be seeing a shiba inu getting up to 25 soon so that is pretty cool beans and also i'm loving it you should be loving it as well guys and gals so from that perspective let's take a look at theorem ethereum is still above uh, 1200 it's come down a little bit it's a 1238 let's take a look at the heat map hopefully annabelle hasn't jinxes out there so we're still seeing that uh you know bitcoin has come down a little bit since the start of this video oh no annabelle annabelle don't, ah, annabelle don't get back in the video and we're seeing that that bitcoin is at 21474 but it's down a little bit uh, when we start at two two point one percent right guys so it's still it's, it's still up it's still up over the last 24 but it's i'm, I'm okay guys I'm, I'm positive i'm positive so we're seeing right now if we take a look at the capitulation bitcoin sellers realized minus 25 billion or 39 percent loss in june on chain so similar to november 18th january 15th and september 11th dark blue so we're seeing similar similar uh, corrections here here and and here but you know after we had these corrections what do we have we had a big bounce to the upside so i think do, uh, that the uh, bitcoin is going to be bouncing guys so justin blackrock does not rule out bitcoin products in the future says global head of etfs this is bullish we're still waiting for our spot etf to be approved by gary ganser where is that so here's a fun fact 10 years ago bitcoin was at nine dollars and 57 cents wow so if you guys have bought 10 years ago you'd be making out like flint bankity bank bank dollar 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 you all so let's take a look at the total market cap cap the total market cap cap is at 981 billion unchanged from my previous video volumes have come a little bit they were about 24 billion now up to 30 billion that's because the americans the mouth breathers the, the peeps out there the aliens everybody is waking up guys wake up wake up smell the coffee let's drive doge higher and higher let's get it guys we've seen the bitcoin dollars is also going down 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 
We're seeing right now that uh, itty bitty baby is up 1.65%. Yeah. We're seeing Ethereum is up almost 4%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're seeing that uh, BNB, B, B, bad boy, bad boy BNB is up 3%. So that is pretty good. We're seeing ADA is up uh, 6.4% at 51. We could be hitting 52 cents if this momentum continues. We're seeing Solana, wanna, 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 is uh, at, uh, up 1.52%. Uh, but you're seeing that, you know, 30% in seven days, 17% for XRP. Oops, talking about XRP. 16.72 uh, for X, for BNB on the weekly. Uh, Ethereum, 19%. And a BTC, uh, 10%, 11%. So we're seeing the Doge Wars are storming Norman at 26%. Wow. Woof, woof. Doge going to the moon, guys. Doge is love, love is Doge. Let's get it, guys. And we're seeing that Doge right now is at uh, 7072 uh, cents in the house. Yeah. And that's 8.4%. So Doge is rocking, rocking and rolling right now. So hopefully you can get above that resistance level of uh, 7.99 or 8 cents. So let's get it. Dottie, what, what? Is up at uh, 4, up 4%. It's 15.32% for the week. And Dozier and the Shiba Weaver, woof, woof, Shiba Inu to the to the rescue is up almost 50% on the last seven days. So that's a look. Look at Avalanche. Wow. Up 45%. Matic, Wadic, Wadic. Wow. Automatic. My Matic, my Matic is up 71.76%. Oh, geez. I'm fire, guys. I, I'm pumped, guys. What did I do today? Uh, I went out for a nice uh, lunch with the Weefy Wifey. Uh, took the kids swimming at the pool. You know, like you guys, if you watch that video, you know that. The kids, they love to swim. They love water. Water's like like kit catnip for kids guys they love they love it they love it so guys that's gonna bring this video to a close it was it was it and don't forget to go and uh guys and gals don't forget to go and uh follow me on twitter and uh check out all the linky links uh, below guys all the links are here ding 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 and guys get remember get your crypto off uh, exchanges uh remember it's you know as as crypto goes down you know you're gonna see more projects fail more uh, exchanges could fail and definitely uh, we're gonna could see more lending uh, platform fail like celsius debbie down right there so guys if you looking for a, a hardware wallet i recommend tracer and nano ledger out there they're the two basic industry standards you can follow my ledger link and get some discount definitely help me out there i appreciate it and the guys become a patreon member buy the channel uh coffee and uh also to check out the nft collection and guys check out the merch you your you we got hats we got hoodies we got t-shirts we got all sorts of good stuff guys so from that perspective i just want to say god bless each and every one of you out there god bless you all have a one wonderful Sunday and I'll see you all in the next one go with God be with God don't forget to go to church guys get to church guys uh, be humble be be humble be positive God bless you I'll see you in the next one peace out